Hello viewers, welcome to my presentations. Today I am going to talk about blending learning and how to implement it in my country. I am Arif Ujjaman Arif, lecturer of English, Doiko Adarsu College, Hadivanda, Lamar. Dear viewers, from the visuals we can guess what we are going to talk about. The main objectives, what is blended learning? What are some models of blended learning? What is about the result? How blended learning is important for learning loss due to pre and after COVID-19 situations? What are the challenges to implement blended learning? How to implement blended learning? So dear viewers, we are going to talk about some concepts of blended learning. There are some visuals. From the visuals, we can say that blended learning is mixed with human teachings and technological support. Now the first question, what is blended learning? Actually, the definition of blended learning is, we define blended learning as the combination of digital content and activity with face-to-face -face content activity. Here, face-to-face -face teaching and digital learning get mixed in blended learning. There are some models of blended learning. The models are the flipped classroom model, the increased virtual model, the individual rotation model, the flex model, the A la carte models. The models are divided into separate heads. Brick and mortar, it's divided into two categories. Transitional instructions, technology risk instructions, online learning, it's also categorized in two types, informal online learning and full-time online learning. From the mixed two parts, there comes blended learning. Here, we see number one, rotation model, flex model, self-blended model, increased virtual model, Rotation model is categorized in four types. Station rotation model, lab rotation model, flipped classroom model, individual rotation model. So there are some important resources of blended learning, which make the blended learning very successful. What are they? Let us see, laptop, tab, mobile phone, smart board, other multimedia presentation, Google Slides, Jamboard, Simulation, and Kahoot. We can add other resources, Zoom meeting, Google Meet, and Gmail. So, from blended learnings, we can benefit it. It's helpful effective and increase in students' engagement. Before blended learning, what were the students? And after blended learning, how they are now? They are more engaged through the learning from blended equipments. Here, I am going to tell about the perspectives of two English language teachers of two different institutions in my locality. This is learning loss due to COVID. If in the interview, the two teachers have said, there is a downfall in language learning. Here, 40% students in reading skill, 60% students in writing skills, 80% students in speaking skill, and 2% in listening skills. We can show the chart chart show the comparative fall of students' language skill in two institutions. From the chart there, we can learn that there is a large 
learned laws in language learning, especially English. So, let's see how blended learning is important for learning laws due to COVID situations. Blended learning lets students progress at their own pace. Students can refer to course concepts and material as needed and can advance when they feel ready. And LMS makes it easy for students to look back on earlier materials and to move through coursework at their own pace. Blended learning combines the advantages in person learning with online technology tools pre and during the COVID-19 pandemic. Still case researchers used multiple methods to understand its value to educational outcomes and how space can play a role to ensure an enhanced prior to COVID-19 researchers visited both K-12 and universities, interviewed educators and students, observed blended learning models and built prototypes. Since the onset of the pandemic, they have used a remote diary platform to assess how online learning is going for teachers and students. So from, the ch from these, we have some major challenges for blended learning. What are the challenges? Lack of social interaction, limited collaborative learning, need for more preparation time and high cost are the several negative implications to students, educators and institutions from blended learning. The main key features are as follows. Lack of technology resources in the institutions. Economic crisis of the students to buy learning equipment. Unavailability of internet. Poor Wi-Fi connection, shortage of projector in separate classrooms, lack of training in using technology, frequent load shedding. These are the challenges both the teachers and students face to implement blended learning. So how the challenges be overcome and implement blended learning? First of all, we have free access to internet both students, teachers, and other common instructor have the free access to internet. If it's possible, then it would be better for implementing blended learning. Then, ensure digitalization in every classroom. Every classroom should be digitalized with modern equipments that will be helpful and support the students to learn something virtual. Provide learning materials to the students. This is a key factor in our country. The students should provide some tab for e-learning and some materials for their blended learning and teaching. Provide teaching materials to the teachers, not only the students. Teachers should be provided laptop, projectors, and so on. Arrange more training sessions. As most of the teachers and students are aware of using technologies, there should be more and more arrangement of training sessions for them. If teachers learn something from the team training, they can share with their colleagues and other students. Last of all, we should change the structure of syllabi in accordance with e-learning. Actually, our traditional syllabus doesn't suit the present blended learning syllabus. So, our syllabus should be short and designed in this way. Dear learners, I'm going to finish my presentation. Just thank you. Our Prime Minister, our education minister, the official body of EDY, all the teachers of Bangladesh, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.